Hey everyone, welcome back to another Wet Soul video. This is for November 2023. And um, if you guys are new here, my name is Lindsay and I'm a part-time reseller and I'm also a stay-at-home mom. So this is basically uh, just a little side hustle and extra money uh, for my family. And I'm hoping to one day be full-time, but probably won't be um, anytime soon, but I am part-time, so I won't be having that many sales in this video. In fact, November was a very slow month for me, and I only made 19 sales, and I believe they were all on Poshmark. Before we get started with my sales, I wanted to just add that because I'm part-time, I'm not making a ton of sales um, so I'm going to be sticking with a monthly what sold video. I was thinking about changing it to a weekly what sold video, but to be honest, sometimes I just don't make any sales in one week. Um, it's rare that that happens. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be keeping these monthly instead of weekly because I did inform you guys a few months ago that I was going to change these to weekly starting in January. But yeah, it'll be monthly videos. All right, so let's just get started. The first sale were these Gap men's skinny jeans and these sold for $9. And I got these in a Thread Up Denim Rescue box. And I probably won't list this brand or style again. Next was a pair of Madewell jeans. These were the perfect vintage straight jeans. These sold for 28 and those also came in a Thread Up Denim Rescue box. Next was this Victoria's Secret pink wireless lined sports bra. This sold for 15 and I got this at the Las Vegas bins. Next sale was this American Apparel hoodie. This sold for $10 and this was my personal hoodie that I got tired of. I just wasn't really a big fan of the color. So I was happy to get that out of my house. Next sale were these BKE Peyton Universal Fit Ankle Skinny Jeans. These sold for $20 and pretty quickly they had a lot of attention um, and those came in a recent Thread Up Denim Rescue box. Next sale was this Talbot's Beachy Boho Lounge Pants. These sold for $9 and this was free inventory from my grandma, so thank you, Ba. Next sale was another free inventory item. This was a Buck Mason black t-shirt. This brand sells really well, usually in bigger sizes, but this shirt was a small, so it did take a while, and it did sell for only $13, and I got that from my stepsister, Brie, so thank you, Brie. Okay, next was this Victoria's Secret pajama set. These were actually mine that I got for Christmas last year but they ended up being too long for me. So I listed them and they sold for $30. Next sale was this Billie Eilish hangman beanie. This sold for $10 and I got this from the bins. Next sale was this Mark by Marc Jacobs blue leather wallet. This sold for $13 and I got that from the bins also. And that's probably not a brand that I will pick up again unless the comps are amazing. Next sale was this Walt Disney World ringer tee. This sold for $8 and I got that from the Salvation Army. And that's probably not something I would pick up again. Uh, that's something that I picked up when I wasn't checking comps. So that was a bad buy. Also, if you hear little pitter patter noises in the background. That's my dog walking around. Okay, next sale was this Oasis band tee. This sold for $27 and this was my personal t-shirt. Next sale was this American Eagle Outfitters curvy high rise shorty jean shorts. These sold for $13 
and those came in a thread up denim rescue box. Next sale was another band tee. It was the group Atmosphere, which is a hip hop group and it sold for $20. And usually this group I can get more for, but this shirt did have multiple bleach spots and holes, but it still sold for $20. And I recently picked this up from the regular Goodwill. So it sold pretty fast. All right, next sale was this G-Star Raw 3D Skinny Jeans. These sold for my full asking price of $65, and I got those in a Thread Up Denim Rescue Box. So this is probably a brand to keep an eye out for, G-Star. The next sale was these AG Adriana Goldschmidt The Club Jeans. These were a flared style. These sold for $20 and those also came in a thread up denim rescue box. And this one I've had for probably about six months. All right, next was this Urban Pipeline gray and black flannel shirt. This sold for $5 and which is fine with me. This was free inventory from my father-in-law. So thank you Chewy for that. I also have, the next sale is also from him. The next one is from Apartment 9 and this was purple and gray flannel shirt. This one sold for $7. And then my last sale was a decent sale. This was a pair of mother jeans. It was the stunner ankle style. And these sold for $48 and those also came in a thread up denim rescue box. Like I said, November was not the best sales month for me, but I also wasn't super active with listings and because November is a really busy month for me. Uh, my husband was on vacation. My son had a birthday party. I had other things going on. So I was pretty busy and didn't focus on reselling as much. So that could be why because the past few years, November's have been really good for me with sales. So I'm hoping that December picks up and so far in the last few days, it's been better. So if you guys wanna see any more of my reseller content, make sure you subscribe. And if you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up on your way out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.